Hey guys, how's it going? So yeah, welcome back to the Feeding Lacina series. This is episode 5 and if you did miss any of the others, feel free to drop back to my channel and have a little watch. But thank you so much for 684 likes on the previous episode. That is absolutely amazing and I'm so genuinely grateful. I do apologise for there not being an episode yesterday. I was really ill and to be fair, I still am. I've got a terrible cough and I literally couldn't stop coughing during yesterday's commentary so I had to do it again and it is this video now. So before we do get started if you're looking for any Ultra Team coins check the link in the description for the FIFA shop.co.uk and use the discount code TOBY10 for a really awesome 10% discount of all of your orders which is pretty mad. But this is the first guy we come up against now. I need to know from you guys how should we get some more coins because we've got 200k's worth of players to get and that is in five episodes so 15 games that's not a lot at all like seriously we have to get over 10k per game if we want to make that and i don't think that's going to be possible like i'm really struggling because we're now being put up against 100 chem teams but mine isn't i'm only on 68 chemistry i believe so it's really really tough and they're incredibly strong teams as well so whilst our team is not finished I'm going to really struggle to score goals with Lacina, so I want you guys to comment down below of how we should get some more coins, because like I said, 200k's worth of players, 15 games left in this series, I don't know if we can do it, we're going to need something to help us out I reckon, because that is a lot of money to get, but our opponent does make it 3-1, which is a big shame, he had such a good team though, so I wasn't too surprised, but we're on a pretty bad run of form so far, I don't think we're doing too well lately, Lacina needs to get on the score sheet and I don't know why I'm finding it so difficult when in the first few games I found it so so easy to score with him. This is our second opponent now he's got a good team but he has got low chemistry still a very very solid team considering he's got all gold players except from his left back so still in my opinion I still find that better than my team especially when he's got some decent strikers Higuain up there top. It's gonna be a tough game now he whips it in and I don't know what Czech was doing. I thought he saved that, but it went in apparently. And that is literally all that happened in this game. I was gutted because I was actually dominating this guy. Like I was doing very, very well and I wasn't having too much trouble. But there's just that one goal that he got and it ends up me losing the game. And Lacina didn't score again. So it's two games where Lacina hasn't scored. Now, I was trying so, so hard to get in the ball but it just wasn't working now our players are actually on really low fitness and they were for the past two games so i thought that might have something to do with it so i pick up a fitness card and we do need another one for our center mid alonso he is literally knackered like he is absolutely dead i think he was on 70 fitness which is really low if you play also team i'd recommend not going below 85 at like the most i literally buy fitness cards when they're on 90 because i'm a little bit picky so every three games, I'm probably buying fitness cards, which is a bit annoying. Now, I do apologize. I completely forgot to record this guy's team. He had a full Spanish team, really, really strong. 100 chem in the 41212 formation, as you can see on your screen now. I completely forgot to record the upcoming opponent bit. But nevertheless, we do manage to get off to an actually decent start for once. I don't know how, but we do manage to finally get this through. I really don't know how I managed to get through here with Troy, but he is through on goal and he smacks it into the back of the net. So at least we can finally have one dice roll in this episode. I was getting so frustrated at the fact that Traore just wasn't getting the ball enough. And then he squares it, gets goal in the grader. It's not too bad. I really should have defended that a lot better. I should have seen the open man. I really should have covered that. But Dumbia here doing work. This is why he's a good centre attacking mid to have. Seriously, he does work. Gets straight past him. Huge gap and just smacks it into the back of the net in the 55th minute and that's how that game ends so finally we managed to win a game in this episode which i'm so pleased about because i thought we we're gonna have a horrible run in this episode and end up losing all of our games but that didn't happen we did fairly well in that game 14 shots 12 on target our position was a little bit down but that is not too bad so that means we can actually roll the dice which i've been wanting to do in this episode for so long but we go on to random.org, the place where we are getting all the dice, and we do manage to get a 5, which is 5,000 coins, which isn't too bad. You know, that's a, a fairly decent positive we can take from this episode. Hopefully, in the next one, we'll have a better run of form, but that was an absolutely shocking 
run of play for myself so i do apologize but i hope you have enjoyed it nonetheless subscribe if you haven't already for some more ultimate team videos for myself and give the video a like if you did enjoy it but thank you very much for watching guys take care have an amazing day and goodbye